If there was one franchise of the early 90s that made a big impact with many gamers for its unique blend of violence and racing goodness, it was Road Rash. Road Rash 1 for the Mega Drive and Genesis was released in 1991 by Electronic Arts. It allowed gamers to challenge the computer to see who would emerge as the best racer. With five courses to play through and five ever increasing levels which would become longer and longer, the challenge was certainly high and this game was no pushover. In order to progress, you had to place within the top three of each course, and once you did this, you were off to the next level. Which only meant the same five courses again, but this time, they were a bit longer. While racing to be number one, you only had to contend with your fellow racers, but also cars, other obstacles, animals, and the police. Get busted by the police or wreck your bike, and not having the cash to pay will lead to game over and your racing dreams thrashed. As you advance through the new levels, you earn money which allowed you to buy new and faster bikes. And let me tell you, you have to upgrade, otherwise you have no chance of placing high in the upcoming races. The challenge is high, but the fun and excitement is off the charts, as you bash in, kick your way to victory. Did you know that Road Rash was originally designed to be a straightforward racing title similar to Sega's Hang On? However, after a poor showing at the 1990 CES convention, the team shifted direction and added the police, punching, kicking, and radical crashes, and the rest, as they say is history. One unique idea that Road Rash added was racer profiles. Before each race, a fellow racer police officer would impart some comments to you and you'd be on your way. Nothing really cool, but some were quite odd. Like, Lester, what? Breathing heavily, what the hell? Hey, Natasha, thanks for the advice. That's really cool. Hey, wait, now you hate me? What the hell? Death. That pretty boy? You gotta be kidding me. Uh-huh. Be a sport, take a fall. No, I ain't gonna do that, Biff. Don't worry about fighting dirt sportsmen. <laughs> I'm just gonna take your club, buddy. See you later, dude. Compared to the later titles in the series, Road Rash 1 may seem a bit primitive in a few areas. You race on the same five tracks, and the only difference is you race a bit longer. Say you race six miles in level one, now you race nine miles in level two. Now this would become a staple in later titles, but for people playing the game for the first time, they may feel a bit ripped off because you're essentially playing the same tracks over and over again. Not to mention the fact the game doesn't really tell you that, hey, you should place high. Why? So you can earn money to upgrade your bike. Otherwise, we'll have fun placing low, buddy. Road Rash is still a fun game to play to this very day. The music is perhaps some of the best you'll hear on the Mega Drive, and the title theme, absolute bliss. It's what you're hearing in the background right now, ladies and gentlemen. Such a great variety of hard rock awesomeness. Heck, you may think racing the same five tracks would be easy, but nope, there are more obstacles, cars, and trust me, the computer opponents will make it very tough as you continue. Obstacle placement like cars also change from stage to stage, meaning you can't memorize particular obstacles, besides the science. So it keeps gameplay fresh and unique each time you race. So while your buddy may have a bunch of cars, maybe you don't. Kinda keeps things cool. Road Rash 1 succeeded in blending racing with some good old-fashioned gaming violence into a nice package. Heck, it was a good thing it added these features, because we might just have ended up with a bland racer with some killer tunes. Overall, Road Rash 1 was a fun title when it was released in 1991. Stacked up with the other two titles on the Mega Drive, it's certainly not the best though. And it's not personally my favorite. The good thing is, the series gets better, and soon I'm gonna cover its sequel, Road Rash 2. So if you happen to see Road Rash 1 lying around, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Now wait, 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 I can't end this review without highlighting the best things about the game, so let's end this video with some gratuitous violence and sick crashes. Oh, 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 boom! Haha, take that! Double punch! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Ah, nasty! Oh, 10 points. Ow, not the pull. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Signage. Oh, wrecked. Oh. Uh, oh, holy shit. Oh, my God, he's dead. 